Hi, this is Tim McGaffin II, and I am going to show you what happens when you mix Kangen water and fire together and explain what is happening and why. So I have my lighter right here. This is my Kangen water SD501 machine. You can see it, that it is on the setting of 9.5 pH water. And here's the tube where the water is going to come out of. And here's the tap water. So I'm going to turn the tap water on at a slow flow. Okay, now I'm going to divert the tap water through the Kangen water machine. Kangen water 9.5. Okay, as the water's gone through the machine, it's running over seven electrically charged platinum plates. Okay, I got my lighter here. I'm going to turn it on. Okay, now listen. Do you hear that snap? Crackle pop. You hear that popping? Hear that? This is so amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the tap water. Make sure I got that. Okay, so now listen to the tap water. I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? Oops. Okay, now back to the Kangen water. Wow, this is so awesome. Okay, let's try the tap water again. Okay, so I'm gonna stop diverting the tap water to the Kangen water machine. So now it's just plain tap. Okay, I don't hear anything, nothing. See that? Kangen water. One more time. Kangen water 9.5. This is so awesome. Wow! Okay, I'm going to explain what just happened there. So I just turned that off. Let me put this camera down here. We're going to go through a little science class. Okay. All right, can you see me? Okay. So, what just happened there? So, you got H2O. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. I diverted the H2O of the tap water through the Kangen water machine and it ran over seven electrically charged platinum plates. That's why I have this lightning bolt here to represent electricity. It takes a lot of electricity to do this, but this is exactly what happened. That electricity broke off one of the hydrogen atoms. So you have a hydrogen atom, then you have OH negative. But the hydrogen atoms cannot stay by themselves. They need to bond with the other hydrogen atoms in the water. So they bond with the other hydrogen atoms in the water to form H2. So hydrogen is the smallest atom in the universe. H2 is the smallest, smallest molecule in the universe. So yet when you're drinking Kangen water, the drinking water, you're drinking OH negative. It's a negative ion. And H2, which is diatomic hydrogen. And this is the antioxidant that's in the water. It's the most powerful antioxidant and the most powerful anti-inflammatory that we know of in the universe. So it actually broke off the hydrogen, actually broke off the water molecule. And so this happens naturally in some springs around the world, like in Lourdes, France, the water uh, picks up an electrical charge in the earth and then the water uh, at this particular spring has dissolved hydrogen in the water so people come from miles around it with their jugs to fill up on this water 
and also in uh, lightning, when lightning occurs, uh, it strikes a body of water, it does the same thing to the water. In thunderstorms, it does the same thing. That's why after a thunderstorm with lightning, your grass usually gets really green. And, um, and it happens other places naturally, naturally around the world as well. And so that's how this came about, is that they figured out a way to capture that lightning bolt, put it in the machine so you can reproduce this water with the diatomic hydrogen in your home. So the top, so degenerative diseases, okay? That's like cancer, arthritis, fibromyalgia, diabetes. This is a fact, this is not a theory, it's a fact. All degenerative disease is caused by two things. Okay, number one is caused by oxidative stress or inflammation, which is exactly the same thing. So to give you a visual of oxidation, you have an apple, you cut it in half, it turns brown, that's the oxidation that's happening, that's the rusting, that's the aging. If you put that apple cut in half in this water, it's not going to turn brown because this is an antioxidant because of the dissolved hydrogen in the water. So that's also an anti-inflammatory, so it's the same thing. So oxidative stress or inflammation and the other cause of degenerative disease is acidity too much acidity or in other words toxins and so if you realize that about 75 percent of your body is water the other 25 percent of your body uh, is a result of food lifestyle sleep uh, and uh, genetics and so even if you're eating a perfect diet of pure fruits and vegetables raw all the time from morning till night you're only uh, getting to 25 percent of the health puzzle of your body water is 70 about 75 percent of the health equation and so as you see here we're constantly being bombarded to drink soda pop uh, Gatorade sports drinks and bottled water tap water all these things are acidic all these things are aging oxidizing inflammatory and the processed foods that we eat these things are all causing uh, too much acidity, too many toxins in our body, and too much inflammation, too much oxidative stress. All these things are contributing to these two causes right here. And so if you replace 75% of your body with something like Kangen water, which is an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory, the most powerful antioxidant and the most powerful anti-inflammatory in the universe, that's 70, about 75% of the health equation. Do you realize why miracles are happening? Do you realize why my motto is champions never quit? I will not give up. I will never give up until every single person watching this video has a Kangen water machine in their home so that they are constantly drinking this diatomic hydrogen or this dissolved hydrogen, which is the most powerful antioxidant, the most powerful anti-inflammatory in the universe because that's about 75% of the health equation. That's why we say change your water, change your life, and remember, champions never quit.